In this video, we are going to see that how can we enable or disable the autofill settings in Google Chrome. So for those of you who don't know about this, autofill means that once you have entered some of the information in the site, suppose you are filling your name and your address details in one site, then Google Chrome automatically saves that information. Of course, after asking permission from you, it saves those information and next time whenever you are on any site, and filling the same information, then Google suggests those uh, same pieces of information that you have entered before, so as to save you some time. In case you do not want this to happen, then how are we going to disable this autofill feature in Chrome? This is what we will see. And in case this feature is not available onto your Chrome browser, but you want to actually enable this feature so that you can use it afterwards uh, to make your life a little bit easy then how can you enable it this is also uh, we will be seeing in this video so the tutorial is going to be very simple let's just start with the steps the first step is to open up your chrome browser click on these three dots and go to the settings now in the settings you will find uh, this left hand menu uh, where there would be a second option saying autofill let's just click into it so it is giving us three options passwords, payment methods, addresses and more. So personal information is stored in addresses and more. Let's just click into it. So here we have the option, the first option that saying save and fill addresses includes information like phone numbers, email addresses and shipping addresses. So do you want Chrome to save those information? Right now it is checked to blue. That means it is enabled, which means that yes, Chrome will save my information, but I don't want to happen. Uh, so I have turned it off and uh, this color change to gray but if you want to enable it you can always click over it make sure the button is showing in blue color that means it's enabled now if you have any of the saved addresses then those saved addresses will appear over here if you want to add some addresses you can simply just click on the add button let's just add a random address let's say name is um, country is india let's just give it a name let's say paul let us give it an organization, let's say ABC. Let's give a street address, one, two, three. Um, maybe enter a city, Delhi, India. The city over here is going to be Delhi, pin code, or let's say Delhi pin code starts with one, one. So one, two, three, four, five, six digits. State is again going to be Delhi. Uh, phone number okay I don't want to add that email let's just add sample at gmail.com phone number maybe add a random one and then click on save so what happens this uh, information is now stored onto your Chrome browser whenever you are prompted in any site to enter the address name phone number email address then this will appear as a suggestion to you now uh, once you have added the address let's say you have a bunch of addresses that have been added that have been saved because if this information this particular option is enabled this is in the blue color then google chrome will automatically save all the information that you are entering okay so let's say you have some of the addresses saved but you want to remove them so how do you remove them so what do you need to do make sure you go to this list of addresses click on these three dots and here is this remove option from here you can remove these addresses or if you find that in some place the information that is stored that is incorrect you are finding this feature to be very useful it's saving you a lot of time but the information that is there is incorrect so every time you have to check that information you have to rectify that information so what you can do simply click on this list go to this list click on these three dots and go to edit and here you can edit this information any way you want let's say i want to write abc private limited as my organization name then click on save so now the information is updated if you want to use this feature you can use it uh, with the updated information as well now in case you want to remove this information just click on these three dots click on this remove option it asks you for a confirmation uh, click on remove and then that address would be removed so that is a pretty simple straightforward process and that would surely help you in many other situations thanks for watching